So, hi, this is gonna be a quicker video. Um, I'm just, I just wanna give some insight on a very big debate that is often taking place on social media or on the internet in general. Um, and that's global warming versus climate change. This is not going to be my opinion whether climate change is real or not, or man-made or, or not. I'm just gonna give some information here. Um, a quick insight. Mainly, climate change and global warming are not the same. It's hard that sometimes people need to be told this, but when people are, especially those who are opposed to the idea that climate change and global warming are real, um, they don't really look into the thing and don't know the proper definitions. So when there's a paper or an article talking about the one thing, they try to draw conclusions about the other one. First off, Global warming is just the average temperature on Earth of all the places on Earth, uh, which is something that we can easily measure even without weather observation stations because we have meteorological satellites that can just scan the Earth. Um, all the temperature on Earth together, the average one, is rising. It's a very simple value. Uh, climate change is something completely different. Climate is the entirety of weather, whether it's precipitation, whether it's um, condensation, uh, snow, hail, temperature, wind speeds, wind direction, ocean temperatures, all these things put together. That's climate. And because it's such a huge batch, there's a lot of different kinds of research. So with different kinds of research, there are different kinds of researchers and they do different kinds of models so there might be one researcher who does a model and it focuses primarily on predicting ocean temperatures um, or one model might try to predict the wind behavior in a very specific part of the world for example only in one continent so um, because these models are done by different people with different um, goals in mind they use different data sets in a different way. So you have hundreds of different weather models that are suited for one specific thing. And while they are not all 100% accurate, for their purpose, they serve reasonably well. So when somebody says um, there is no unified weather or climate model, that's like saying there is no unified physics model. We know that there is no unified model, but we're trying to get to it, is what a researcher would say. Um, that's also why there is so much discussion um, about the scientific community about this, because to the outside, they are often being represented as this one community of people who agree on something. That's never the case with scientists. Scientists can be incredibly contentious. So we have this situation in which a lot of people are saying many different things, but the media tries to turn it into one thing. So it comes across as um, climate scientists constantly changing their mind or actually saying something that is opposed to something else. It's not actually like that. It's just that science, and especially climate science, is way more complicated than people from the outside can can guess. So just for the future, Climate change and global warming are not the same thing. They influence each other, but the one thing is a very simple observation and the other one is an almost impossible observation because scientific communities are not easy to understand. That's just my, my information that I wanted to give to you. Um, so I'll see you soon. And until then, stay keen. Thank you.